Hello friends, welcome to channel Reza Blade. This is Reza. Thank you for joining me for one of the last reviews of my 30 reviews in 30 days quick and dirty reviews season, I mean series. <laughs> and I would love to share with you um, today's review item. It is another plate set. Thankfully though, you guys have mentioned that I've been showing a lot of pocketbook breaking items lately. I, I have an item that's from AliExpress and this set runs between five and seven dollars. Uh, it is ten small plates. Uh, it's the Finger Angel A series and I'm going to go through, show you the plates, um, show you I have two manis today, uh, just swatch manis, no real design element except the smushy I did. And I love the smushy. Let's show you what I've done today. I was in focus there for a second. There we go. What do you think? I'm a big fan of this one. This is probably my favorite smushy I've ever done. So, without further ado, let me show you. Now this, this is different because it says Finger Angel A001 on the side here. So you'll notice that, that the... And, each plate has nine images on it, so I have, yes, I did, I did 90 swatches, and you can tell, look at my fingers, I'm still covered in polish, even though I essentially soaked my hands in acetone. <laughs> but um, 90 swatches I have done for you guys. So we've got half images, or they can be funky French tips, or they can be, um, you know, for your, for your half moon down here at the base, or they can be for whatever you want. Um, they're, they really work well as a long image on the pinky. So whatever you want to do, you have the freedom to do with 90 images. I mean, there's, there's a lot of design power in this particular plate set. So here is plate one. And plate two. I'm wearing this one. Where is it? Here we go. And I'm wearing this one, a little heavy on the stamping polish on this one, so it blotted a little. All right, plate number three. I've got this one on my middle finger here. Plate number four. Am I wearing? No, I'm not. I'm not wearing any of these. If you'll notice, a lot of these are really good decal stamps. And it's got some of the best texture stamps I've seen anywhere uh, near the end of the series. So I'll show you. I'll point those out to you. All right. This one I thought was on this plate. Yes, here we go. Here's this stamp on my thumb here. And this one, where did I put it? Did I, did I put it? Maybe I didn't put it anywhere. I guess I meant to put it somewhere, but I decided on this image instead. Anyway, lots of fun, um, ornate kind of filigree detail on these. We've got mandala style images. Here's, here's the one I decided on for that pinky. These would be great as a reverse stamp. I'd love to see somebody color this one in and do it with, on a mani. And here's the texture plate, plate number seven. Now you can get these separately, so since I've done these in numerical order, you know, if you've liked, let's say, the fifth plate I showed you, you can find plate number five on AliExpress. The, the link I, show, I share with you in the description box is going to have the whole set. So I have used these texture images a bunch because they're so good. They're really fabulous. 
The other way that you can use these stamps is the way that I've used them on this hand. Now I did I did that line, this decorative line here, to box this image in, and this is from one of my geometric plates that I sh I've showed you guys, I, I guess about a month ago. But um, you could put them right across the middle of the finger, and it looks really, really lovely. So anyway, here's number seven. The snowflake is so great. We've got number eight, and this one, um, my my black stamping polish, I used uh, Z-Joy on these, and it was just a little watery today. So you'll see I had a little spreading of the polish down here, but this is that image. These two are a lot of fun, but make sure that you have a really thick stamping polish to, to work with these, because if it's too watery, um, the reason I didn't use either of these on a fingernail was because I was using a stamping polish that was, I guess, a little watery, and it uh, didn't show the detail. It was it was kind of bloopy, if you know what I mean. And this is a really great little swirl here. One of these, one of the things that these these plates are really great for is if you're doing you're doing a mani and you have, uh, I'm showing you number nine while I'm talking. You're doing a mani and you've got kind of a design planned out, but you, you need a little flourish somewhere and you need that flourish to be of a certain size and a certain shape. And you can pull these out and I bet you'll find a bunch of different little flourishes that you can use. So here's this one I'm wearing right here. I'm also wearing this one on this finger. I stamped it a little wonky, but this it is on the finger. This one is right here, and this one is right here. So that's plate number nine. That's one of my favorites. I love this kind of Moroccan image here. All right, and the last one has a defective image on my set, so I'm going to show you that. This image is, is not completely engraved. This little decorative element right down here is effectively only etched like one hundredth of a millimeter into the into this steel. So it doesn't even begin to show up. But you'll see that on the swatch. And those are the ten plates. So let me show you the 90 swatches I did and then I will part ways with you for this evening and see you again tomorrow. So let's say, here's plate number one. We've got some lace images here, those are fun. Here's one of those flourishes I was telling you about that's just, it's so useful. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Here, let's get a little closer. There we go. Number six. Number seven. Here's how those textures show up. Isn't that great? That snowflake stamped so perfectly. Little tulips for spring. Number eight. Number nine. And finally, number 10. Here's the one I've circled is the one that's the problem stamp. But that's not saying that you can't use this on your half moon. It's still still worth five bucks for the set. Just one error? I'm fine with that. Alrighty. So those are those plates. I hope you like them as much as I do. Um, I have used these, I got these about six months ago, so it's not a haul-in review, it's just a review. 
this uh, review is dedicated to my dear friend Kat, who was deciding whether or not she wanted to get this set on AliExpress. And I said, hey, you know what? I'll go ahead and do a review of them so that everybody can see how much I love these particular plates. So have an excellent day wherever you may be, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me.